I was blessed to be put into contact with Boston Music Project and my supervisor. And at the time, I did not know how great this thing uh, could be. I teach history, and so uh, music is a huge part of culture. Art is a huge part of culture. And I severely underestimated how much I and my students benefited from using that in the classroom. For the last two years, I've been here at the Melvin H. King, formerly known as McKinley South End Academy. I'm a teaching artist embedded into social studies and ELA classrooms through a partnership between Boston Music Project and Boston Public Schools. Using technology to create music is sort of folded into the larger curriculum that's happening in that classroom. My job is to help platform these students to be able to say the things that they want to say and to help them do that in a way that feels professional and at a high level and sounds like the records that they hear on the radio. I use music to try to feel people on a deeper level. I just always feel like if you are listening to something that someone made, you understand that person in a whole new light. Music's my main focus when I come here. Music, I actually feel like I'm showing people that I have talent. If I could do raps like at school every day, I would just come to school every day. The kids don't see it as like class with me. They see that as like a project. They see that as like an activity to do instead of doing classwork. They won't even classify that as classwork. Like they wasn't thinking this is homework or this was like a school project when they were painting these. Through the majority of history, things have been taught through the oral tradition, through song, uh, through artwork. And that was always an integral part of school. So this, this call and response exchange is the natural way that humans tend to learn. And so from culture to culture, I, I, it was like a natural fit for kids to kind of show me their culture, their music, what are the foods that you like to eat? And that thing has been bleached out of education to a point that even a history teacher might say, well, what does this have to do with history? And it's like, this has everything to do with English language arts, the humanities, everything that we're trying to express. So the way that the King's Ear project started was just by creating raw material. And where that led us was ultimately to an event here in this space. It was poems with live music. It was call and response drumming with the audience and, and students. It was voices of, of elders of Mel King, who's a leader in this community and, and the namesake of this school. And it, sort of the capstone piece was a video that featured visual art, music, interviews, and really I think was the, a chance for the students to, to say things that I think they think regularly and, and often just aren't asked. And I think that just taking the time to slow down and say like, hey, what do you think? I think a lot of times that's taken for granted. Because of the fact that it was art, you can't say what the kids are gonna do, what they're gonna say, what they're gonna produce. And I think that we were very honest to say, we're going to see what this produces. And we worked in partnership with students, other classes, to see how they could express their learning through art. I'd say a key part of this project was the music and poetry, because poetry is another form of music. And seeing the students like use words to express their feelings um, through the beats, finding the right poems for the right students, it was a big really made this whole thing come together. Having other people enjoy something that you put your work into, it's just a feeling that you can't ever forget. It, it feels cool seeing my beats like out there and like people walking up to me telling me like, yo, you did a great job in there. You should be an influencer and stuff. Like, I like it. I'd be a liar to say that we planned this. We facilitated the kids expressing themselves. And that's what makes me so proud is that I'm proud of the work that the kids were able to do when we got out of the way with archaic ways of write it down this way, read it out that way, but rather give it back to me remixed as you felt it, as you see it.
And that's what the Boston Music Project does in general, taking school, making it fun and meaningful, and letting the kids be the operators.